What's up guys, Ricky here with another review on the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Ultimate Shredder. Uh, this is from Secret of the Use. So uh, here's the front of the package. Uh, looking pretty good. We got some good artwork here. Really liking that a lot. Let's see. Then we have, let's open this up. We have a cool action figure shot here. Looks really nice. Okay, then we have all the paper right here. Okay. So we got some pretty good pain applications. I uh, love the spiked helmet. Got some cuts on the face there. We have the big uh, dandelion ooze canister. Comes with lots of accessories, extra hands. And comes with some extra weapons there too, which look really nice. So overall, looking pretty good there. So let's see, so we got the side of the package. Ninja Turtles, and this is by NECA Toys. We have the back of the package here. Looks like you can take the mask off. Looks pretty nice here. And then we have the other side of the package with a close-up shot of Shredder as well. Okay, cool. Well, let's open this up and see what we're looking at. Okay, here is Shredder from Secret of the Use out of the package. And looking pretty darn good. So here we go. So... Uh, let's see where to start. So uh, we have the helmet there. It looks really, really nice. So we, we got some really nice painted silver. Got some really nice gold as well that looks really nice. And they did do a wash on the gold, uh, which looks really nice. So it really brings out a lot of those details. Love the, uh, the spiked helmet from the movie. I like the purple outfit instead of the pink one. I do have the original, which I will do some comparisons with so you can see. Uh, comes with, let's see. Yeah, look at those textures. Textures looks really good. Looks like the shoulder pads were black and they dry brush brown over the top and then did silver. Okay, looking good. The cape looks really nice, really cool design, and it is different than the first one. And I like it better because it's more mobile now, which I think is really nice. So it does also come with some accessories. So you see we have a sword and holster there. And they have the stretchy band, which you can see that black underneath that. Uh, all the Ninja Turtle lines, so all the villains and stuff, well, I guess Shredder and the Foot Soldiers came with these. And it's pretty cool because then you can put any weapons on it and it kind of blends in. So pretty smart idea on their part of having like a really cool belt that's stretchy that you can put stuff on. So you can see right there. That's what I did there. Uh, also comes with the flower accessory. It looks really nice. This looks like they did a yellow and they dry brushed some of a darker yellow over the top. Almost a brown, really. Uh, it looks really good there. Then you have this long spear type weapon, extra hands, and the TGRI um, ooze capsule. Looks really good. But yeah, overall looking really, really great out of the package. So love the t details, love the textures. Uh, Nick did a great job on this one. So how about we get into a quick uh, articulation, and then uh, I will show you uh, the difference between number one and number two shredder shredder here so the head looks up about that far so this kind of gets in the way if i'm looking up too far looks down about that far does pretty good so you do have a nice side to side so it does rotate side to side and you do have a little bit of a head tilt as well head pivot so the arms go up about 90 degrees you do have double jointed elbows and you do have rotation at the elbows as well which is nice then you do have wrist articulation and pivot as well. So it looks nice. So both arms do that. You do have a ab crunch and it's lower right here. So it does ab crunch just a little bit forward, so not much. And does go back slightly, but not very much either. So just back a little bit. And then you do have a rotation. Then legs go up, not quite 90 degrees. You do have double jointed knees. And you do have rotation also at the upper leg as well, which looks nice. And then you can get them to do the splits. Not very far, unfortunately. So I might be able to get a little further than this, but I'm not going to force it right now. So, um, And then you do have ankle articulation and pivot as well. So really nice. So no tour articulation. But overall, I'd say for the shredder, I'd say it's articulated enough to get in some pretty good poses. Um, but yeah, so not too bad. Okay, here we go. We got a little size comparison here between the Shredders and some of the other figures from the Ninja Turtle line. So, 
here we go. So let's do a quick comparison between number one and number two. So let's see. So here's number one. So you can tell they went more with like a pinkish, kind of reddish, I don't know, magenta color. It's an interesting color. Uh, so you have that. And they did a lot of sparkles on it, which I really didn't notice before until I'm comparing it to the new one. So let's see. And then we have the new one here. So they did a purple, right? They didn't do the sparkles or anything like that, which I actually kind of prefer. Um, so you can see, looks like the gauntlets are the same, shin guards are the same, so they just recycle and use those same materials, same feet. Looks like the same, um, looks like the same legs too, so they did the same legs, just different color, but they did do different upper bodies. So you can tell this one has a little bit different, uh, just the way it kind of fits, different wrinkle pattern than this one does. This one's a little bit more bulky in my opinion, a little more flowy in the front but it looks really nice. And then the helmet, just kind of the standard. This one's obviously the new one there, which looks nice. And looks like they use the same uh, face mask in the front, but the capes are quite a bit different as well. So obviously this one's a lot bulkier and clips in the front. This one is not as bulky and clips actually on the shoulder blades, which I actually prefer, because it was kind of hard to get him in some poses uh, with that big cape in the way. But Looking pretty good. So I think I actually prefer the new one um, versus the number one. So I'd love to hear what you all think. Uh, then we have Super Shredder here. Obviously stands quite a bit taller. So about the shoulder pads is about what the um, secret of the use one goes with. Uh, the Super Shredder looks awesome. So super cool looking figure there. Looks like it stands a little bit taller than the Foot Soldier. So it looks pretty good there. Love those details. And actually, it looks like, yeah, okay. It looks like they use the same body mold for the foot soldier as they did with the uh, shredder number one, just different color tones. Pretty cool idea. Okay, then we have Toka and Razar in the back. It looks like they stand about the same height as Toka, a little bit shorter than Razar, um, but those figures are pretty awesome too, very bulky. And it looks like it stands a little bit taller than your standard Ninja Turtle. So it looks like it uh, goes to about the mid-head, which looks good. And then obviously quite a bit taller than Splinter, which is supposed to be. So here you go. Let's get a measurement for you real quick. So it looks like we got about seven and a quarter inches, which works out to about 19 centimeters, looks like. Pretty close to Okay, and here's a close-up of the faces real quick. So this is the secret of the use with all the scars on the face. Looking pretty good. We got some pretty good flesh tones. Uh, the scars look really good and really realistic, so I like that a lot. Eyes look good. Wrinkles look good. Looks really nice. And then here's the one from the first one. So still has some scars, but it's not obviously as crazy looking. Um, however, I didn't know. I wonder if the actor is different in the first one and the second one, because these actors kind of look... Uh, Nothing alike as far as head shape and stuff, right? This head is a little bit um, wider. This one's a little bit narrower. So curious. I just assumed it was the same actor, but maybe maybe it's not who plays him. But yep, but that's what they look like without the uh, without the masks on. Okay, final thoughts of Shredder by NECA Toys from Secret of the Use, uh, and I I really like it. So I do think I like it better than the original. Uh, I like the cape system a little bit better. I know it's not a wire cape this time, but uh, I just like the way it kind of flows better and you're able to get them in more dynamic poses without having to really adjust the cape and make it look a little odd. Um, I like the color better. I like the purple more than I like the, kind of the pink magenta. And I also really like the helmet um, a lot better. So very cool figure. So if you collect the Ninja Turtles, I'd say this is a good one. I did find this one just at Walmart. Um, I saw it there one day and passed out. It's like, oh, I already got the first one. And then uh, saw it again, you know, a few weeks later. So I was like, well, okay. I'll pick it up. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> so I uh, picked it up and glad I reviewed it for you all. So I think it's going to be a good addition to the Kindle collection. And uh, yeah, I love this scene. It reminds me of the, the mama scene in uh, <laughs> Secret of the Use. Uh, oh, mama. But yeah, super funny. But okay, cool. So thank you all for tuning in. Feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll continue to bring reviews, uh, customizations, um, and even reveals uh, to you all. So thank you all for tuning in and I will catch you next time.